my mum has always thought that she's not mathematical. Actually, always been told by her school, uh, by various different people that she's not mathematical. But there were always a few clues that I saw throughout my life. I thought, hang on, I actually think you might be good at maths. So first of all, she's pretty good at textiles. My mum once crocheted me this wonderful festive poncho, uh, the boundary of which is a digon, and it doesn't lie flat, so you're crocheting in hyperbolic space. <laughs> Um, and also, on all of her letters, any like birthday cards, everything I get, she always draws this little symbol. Okay, everything, oh. my seal. So this little symbol, you'll recognise this as the three one knot. It's got three crossings, it is a closed knot, and it is the smallest non-trivial prime knot. To seal in mum's mathematical abilities and embrace her into the world of maths, I thought I would give her a mathematical embrace. So, welcome to Alien's Guide on how to give a mathematically interesting hug, featuring Lorna. So, let's investigate first of all a normal, normal hugs. So, there's the first one here if you're just holding hands. This is not a hug. <laughs> this would be like the unknot. It's just a loop, not a hug at all. If you were to look at a normal hug, so usually one person goes over, one person goes under. I am the shorty of the family, so I always go under. This would be your normal hug, which is two linked loops. And I don't think it's great because <laughs> without unlinking, you can just you can escape like that. So it's two it's two unhugs joined together. Um, every so often you get a kind of the awkward hug where you don't know if someone's going to go over or under and you end up doing one person over, one person under, which looks like this. <laughs> which ugh, is better because you are linked, um, but we can do, we can take that one step further. We can do even better than that. Here is your symbol in a hug, the trefoil knot, 3-1 as a hug. So step number one, uh, the person behind, you're going to have to do the over-under. So I'm going to go left arm under, right arm over. Whoop. Then you're going to reverse that situation. So cross over here and you just need to hold my hands. Cool. And this, although it doesn't look like it, is a trefoil hug. We can do a continuous deformation. So whoop. we do it like this. <laughs> there is the trefoil knot. That's the trefoil hug. I'm sure you can like draw on there. <laughs> to show that it is definitely a trefoil hug. We've got three crossings and we're completely linked. We're all tied together. <laughs> um, there is something I do want to show you about the chirality of that hug though. So the way that mum draws this, it just kind of loops all together, but you can draw this as an alternating knot. All knots which have less than eight crossings are alternating. So if I start here, So here it is as an alternating knot, uh, where it goes under, over, under, over, under. So it continues with the under, over. But there is another. <laughs> um, so you can do this again, but instead of starting going over, you can start going under. So if I draw the exact same knot, but with an under to start with. Oh. This is like doing something left-handed for me. Under. Mm. Hopefully I haven't drawn the same knot. Nope, it's all good. Okay, so these two knots, they both have three crossings. They're both a trefoil knot, but they are different. They have chirality, which is like a handedness. So they've got a left-handed knot and a right-handed knot. Chirality, such an interesting symmetry. And you can see that in the hug. So back to... <laughs> Back to the hugs. So if we did the one that we did before, um, where we do one over, one under, cross it, join. You can only deform this in one way. So you can only do it like this, where it goes over the left-hand side. You wanna go back in? <laughs> if you try and go the other way, it, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because of the chirality. It only has one direction. So if you wanted to do the other sided knot, rather than going left hand under, right hand over, I would have to go this way around. And this one's over, so it's going to go under, join. And then now we should be able to go the other way. <laughs> so, chirality. <laughs> Which hug did you like best, Mum? Um, just the plain old good hug. Yeah. <laughs> 
She's overcomplicating things. <laughs> it's always okay to hug your mum any way you like. I have tried. This is going to make me sound like such a sad person. <laughs> I've tried to do these hug knots on my own. It doesn't work. <laughs> How, what do you even do? Well, so this, this trefoil knot, the 3-1 knot, is sometimes called the overhand knot. 